this is just a Peruvian girl traveling around the world and today I'm at the place where people walk on water. And this is Bodo Airport. They have their own vine yard. <laughs> it's weird. Well, we are now kind of lost between the streets in Bodo and we're gonna go to this place. The San Michel. And this is San Michel Church. This is called the Flesh de Saint Michel, and it's one of the symbols of the city. You can see this from many places here. It's one of the tallest things here. The Basilica of Saint Michel was built between the 14th and the 16th century in a Gothic style. The bell tower is separated from the rest of the church. This tower was damaged in the 1700s because of a hurricane. It didn't have a point for a very long time till the 1800s when it was rebuilt. Oh, now we are at Porte de Bourgogne. And walking around Bordeaux, you will see many port or gates around the city so it's fun to find each of them and there are six around the city and now another door and this is all the port de jeu <laughs> and now we are at Place de Victoire and that's port active That's a turtle over there. The obelisk and the turtles you see here were made by the Czech sculptor Ivan Heimer. And the turtles have some vines from in their mouths, symbolizing the winemaking of wood. And right now we are walking along Saint Catherine Street. And we'll see what, where we get. Saint Andrew Cathedral is from the 14th and 15th century mainly and it's in a, it was built in a gothic style as you can see it also has a separate bell tower like Saint Michel and this is called to Peter Land here a better look of the facade of Saint Andrew Nice building we see on, on the you see over there it's the town hall that is called Hotel de la Ville. Oh, yeah. oh, it's so cute. Nice effect. <laughs> the Grand Theatre dates from the 1780s. And this is the place you have to go if you like opera or ballet. Now here we are at Place de Cancun. Cancun's Square is one of the biggest squares in the whole Europe. The main place in Cancun's Square is the Fountain in honor to the Girondins. The Girondins were a group against Robespierre during the French Revolution and they were killed for opposing to him during the terror. And that's the river Garonne. Oh, we're going to the old Place de la 
na bu. One of the most important squares here in Boto. This is the biggest water mirror in the world, and it's in front of the most famous place of Bogotá, the Place de la Bu. And this is called the Miwa. This is a fountain, and we will see it work in any minute. This place has effects not only of a mirror, it also has effects of fog that unfortunately we didn't see. <laughs> but it's the perfect place for refreshing and soaking your feet in the hot summer. Now that we are leaving, that thing is working. Can anybody explain me why they're doing banana plants here in France? Ah, Cité du Vin. This is a place for uh, about how they make wine, all the types of wine and some tastings too. There's restaurants and a nice view of the city from the top. And it's just right to take a wrong river. Uh, oh, and my voice is awful. Bordeaux is famous for its wine, so it makes sense that the Cité du Vin is here. If you are a fan of this beverage, this is the place for you. But also, if you like architecture, you can enjoy this place because this is pure architecture porn. We didn't go inside, but if you wanna, uh, but if you're interested in it, entrance costs. 20 euros. But we could go inside the wine shop and it's just amazing. Just there's wines from all over the world, even from Peru, even from China, from Iraq, from Russia, from anywhere you can imagine. <laughs> we will cross to the other side of the Garonne River and we will find well, this is the place of alternative culture, of bio restaurants, of organic stores. If you're looking for something a bit different, this is the place for you. Now that we are on the other side of the Garonne, we can also have a picture with the Blue Lion of Class Stalingrad. The Pontapier was built during Napoleon times in the 1800s. It was the only bridge that connected the two sides of the river in those times. And it also makes a beautiful postcard with La Flèche de Saint Michel on the back. And now we are at the public garden. And we're gonna have some picnic today. This huge park was built during the 1700s and it's the place where all the Bordelais come for relaxing or uh, just being with the family, going picnic, playing sports or just lying over the grass and enjoying this beautiful landscape. We are back at the public garden and yeah, we have a football match over there and we are back for part two of the picnic. Oh, I wanna have something here. I couldn't resist the French pastries, so don't, don't fall, don't fall. This is so cute! There's raspberries! Oh, this is... This looks beautiful! Oh. I'm gonna enjoy it! A ver a 
¿Qué tenemos aquí? C'est fini. My trip to Bordeaux is over, and I want to thank Roberto for joining me in this trip. And Mariela, I hope you liked it. So this is the very first video of many in Europe, and next time we're going to Bratislava in Slovakia. So see you there.